Hey everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. If you'd like to see these sugar skulls, then continue watching. Welcome back everyone, good to see you. Today is a toe of the week and it matches with the nails I did on Monday. Those cute, adorable sugar skulls. They turned out just as cute and I love them and I love all the bling and I can't wait for you to see the outfit as well. Now this video will also be in my Angel's Heavenly Nails channel, which I will have linked down in this box. Please go over there and check it out and sub to that channel because I would love to grow it so I don't have to put my nails in this you know, channel anymore. So I just wanna have this all keto. But anyways, let's get started on this design. Everybody take care and God bless and always keep it keto. Hey everyone. So here's what I decided to go with for this week's toe design. Some cute sugar skulls and teal with lots of bling matching my nails I did on Monday. If you'd like to see how I did this one, then continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back. It is Toe of the Week. And again, this set is matching with the nails that I did on Monday, the Sugar Skull nails I did. If you didn't get a chance to see that, then definitely check that out. It is on both here, My Angel's Heavenly Nails, and also in Keep It Keto. So let me show you what I'm using in today's design. I've got the toes all painted up just solid. So I just wanted to save on a little bit of time. I'm using both the funky fingers. The black is called Dark Night. I'll list it all down in the box. Got these from Five Below. The other one is called um, Thermal. And this one is a color changer polish, but it really doesn't color change very well. It is a slight difference when you go into hot to cold. But um, yeah, it's not that great. The other one, like I explained in my video on Monday, the one that they do with the solar, with the sun, those ones work really good, but these ones here don't color change that great. But I just really wanted this color, so it didn't matter. I didn't need it to change color. So, but just wanted to let you guys know if you were interested in getting these, they don't color change very well, but the solar ones work really good by the funky fingers. So, but those are the two that I've got on my toes. The big toe is the black and the rest are done with that teal color. And then I have just used this to uh, dry everything up. It is my Beauty 360 that I get from CVS. I'm out of the Sesh Feet right now. This is very expensive. This one's like almost $12 a bottle. The Sesh Feet is around $7 or $8. Um, and I do love my Sesh Feet, but this one I just use in between um, when I am out of the Sesh Feet and I'm completely out of it. I gotta go get some. So this is just you know, you know one I use in between, but I love this one, I love it. So I've used it to dry everything up and I'm gonna get ready to do the art. I'm going to need um, white and black acrylic paint. So here's the white. I don't have the black to show you, but it's just a black acrylic. And then I'm going to be working with four colors here that I'm just mixing like I did in my video on Monday. I just kind of mix them to make colors with them. I've got the lime green, the fiery red, the neon blue, and the sky blue. And I just kind of mix and play around with them just to make the sugar skulls just fun and artsy. And that's what a sugar skull means is it's not like a Halloween skull. It's more of a cute uh, girly skull with the art inside of it. And I'm doing rhinestones inside of it as the eyes and the mouth, you know, the teeth, I mean, are going to be rhinestones and everything. And then all the rest, I'm just going to be using rhinestones to bling those out. I'm working with these two here. These are a AB crystal, but they're done in that, <clears throat> excuse me, teal color. And then here is the clear crystals in different sizes, but there's also the AB smaller, more of the clearer ones inside of there, real tiny ones that I'll be using too. I will use a ASP glue here to glue them on. I'll be working with this brush to do the art, my 10 over zero liner. It's the short liner and it's from Prin uh, Princeton and it's from Hobby Lobby. And I think that will be all other than I will tap everything off again with that Beauty 360. So I'm going to get started on the skulls. I'm going to do one, and I'll leave one open, and I'll be back to show you. 
Okay, so you see I've got one of them done with the skull. I'll show you how I'm doing that. Just the basic outline of the skull. This one, I'm gonna go this way with it. And you're just gonna set your brush down and just kind of round the top, you know, like you're the top of the skull here. Pretty simple, that part. Just bring it down like that. Around it a little bit more there. Around the side a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do the eyes. You just come around like that. Just make two circles for the eyes. Okay. And then you're gonna do a little upside down heart for the nose. Just come around and come around. I'll be filling it in with more black. Don't worry about that if it's not perfect. No skull is perfect. And then I'm just gonna be putting in the teeth kind of because this is where the crystals are gonna go. So it doesn't matter how that looks. But you see how cool it would look if you were doing more of like a Halloween look, that's how you would do it like that. Now I didn't put the cheeks on yet on both of them yet, but I'll show you. So now I'm just gonna do the cheekbone just coming down like this. And on the other side, same thing. It's kind of just rounding it kind of like a, um, uh, just kind of like an oval shape, half of like an egg shape. Um, I'll do it on this side too. Just getting those cheekbones in there. But that would be more like a Halloween type skull. And of course I change it by adding all those crystals. I make it more pretty. But there you go. I probably should have drew in a little bit more for you guys, but hopefully you got to see that. And now I'm gonna let that dry up and I'm gonna start putting the crystals on the, the um, teal nails while I'm waiting for the skulls to dry for me to do the art in it. All right, so I've got all the crystals going on the teal nails and I fixed the skull here. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm doing that. Let me just draw in here for you. So again, like when I did my nails on Monday, you're just gonna go in and just widen the eyes up with black paint. So just widen them up a little bit. So they're more rounder, even though I'm gonna put crystals in there. And then for the nose, you just go to one side coming up and then to the other side, almost like you're doing an upside down heart, like that. So see, now it looks much better, and then when I start to do the art around it, you'll see, I'll be back. All right, so I've got the dots going on this one here and the red blob that I'm doing the rose with. I did it on this one too, I showed you guys that in my nail video, but basically all you're doing is you're just gonna get some red and just put it down and just kind of make like a blob. That part's pretty easy. But when you're doing the rose itself, you're gonna go with a lighter color, and that's what's gonna make your lines. You're gonna go right in the center. Now I'm working very small here. This rose is really tiny. I'm just gonna go in the middle and then I'm gonna go to the side. And the color is a couple shades lighter. I've used the red that I added white with it. And then I'm just gonna go on this side and add one more. And that just gives it the shape of a rose then. And I will do the other one. Same thing, just do like a little C and then go around around, just keep going in different spots. You're just making the petals of a rose. And then that one there, I'm gonna grab some of the teal and I'm gonna do some of the dots around the eyes. Very lightly, you just wanna have a very light touch so that these uh, dots don't get really big. All right, and then I'm gonna grab some of the green mixture and put a few green dots up in here and then I'm also gonna put a couple little black dots in there, like on the other one. Like I said, have a very light touch because otherwise your dots will get too big. So there's what I've got there. I'm gonna let these dry up and I'm gonna start putting the crystals on. All right, I'm back and you see one is all blinged out. Isn't that cute? Even looks like there's a bow. The teeth are sparkling and everything. I love it. So I've got all the stones ready to go here. And I'm gonna do it on this toe here and I'll just show you real quick. I'm dipping with my orange wood stick into a glue that's on a plate. I'm gonna start with the eyes, putting in glue into the eyes for the crystals. And then I'm gonna pick them up with my um, Q-tip here. Just putting that in the eye sockets. So we got pretty blingy eyes. And then I'm gonna put more down where the teeth are glue, just going across like that. 
making sure there's enough. Oh, let me slide down just a little bit so you can see that. So I'm just drawing some glue in here. And then I'm gonna take these really tiny stones and put it in for the teeth. Gotta turn some of these stones over. I'm gonna put three on top, three on the bottom. But I have to turn them over. And of course they're being stubborn. Always when you're on film, right? Come on. It's like sticking. What is going on? Oh, I think it got stuck to the glue. I think glue got stuck in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this one here and flip it over. I might have to go into my container and get out a little bit more. Put one there. And then I got one more here I can use. And then start on your bottom teeth. Putting one there. And let me get a couple little ones in here because those ones were not cooperating with me. Put another one right there. And, and it's okay if the teeth are crooked. Remember, this is a sugar skull that we are just, you know, doing in our own image of it. And you see, isn't that so cool looking? I love it. Okay, and then we've got, let's see, where's the other big stone there? Thought we had another big one, so I'll just pull one out here. We're putting a bow on the top with one of the iridescent blue stones and a couple of the crystals on the other parts. So I'm just gonna put a dot of glue there and some glue there. I'm running out of glue on my plate, but I'm not gonna pour any more out because this is enough. Should be enough to finish this up here, hopefully, because this is all we have left. I can't even see if it's getting on there. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, darn it. Sorry, I'm just getting off some paint that fell on my orange wood stick and then all over my fingers <laughs> and everything. And I don't want to be putting that on my nails. So, okay, so I got that off. Sorry about that. Now I'm gonna pick up these stones here. We're gonna pick up the middle one and put it right smack in the middle and then these nice big ones for the bow to the outside. Like that. And it just makes a cute, adorable sugar skull and matches so good with my nails. I just love that this one was, you know, cutesy, artsy, fun, and just blingy. So I am going to top coat everything because it's really good to top coat when you put rhinestones on. It helps hold them down and um, keeps them on longer. So I am going to top coat everything, like I said, with my Beauty 360 top coat, and I will return to show you the end product. Alrighty, I am all done, and aren't these cute? They're just as cute as my nails. In fact, my son was just over here, and he's like, oh my God, Mom, those skulls are awesome. I love them. I love how cute they are. You know, a sugar skull is so much cuter. But he said even before I put all the art and everything on it, he loved the way they looked too. He just said they're an awesome skull. So, but I'm very pleased with them. I love all the bling, the sparkle, the art to the skulls. I just think they are awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you will try it out. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in my next video. God bless and take care. Mm -hmm.